patient. I'm a doctor, not a bricklayer. the nuclear vessel. Well done, Team 2. And Admiral, it is the Enterprise. How's it, guys? Travis from Ostrich Longnick here. Um, this is just a quick unveiling of the USS Enterprise aircraft carrier, the nuclear-powered one. Uh, would have loved to have been able to get my hands on the World War II version of the ship but as far as I understand that particular ship has been discontinued I wish that they would bring it back because the original Big E from World War II was one of the most famous ships during the whole of World War II and out of all the American vessels she had the most kills but unfortunately as far as I understand it is that particular model kit was discontinued so I have to settle for something second best I have to go for the Enterprise NV, oh, sorry CVN 65 which is the aircraft carrier which Kirk and Spark send Chekhov to go into to get the nuclear energy to recrystallize the crystals for the clay on bird of prey. There you see that particular aircraft carrier in that particular movie, which was the voyage home. So that's the one that I'm going to be doing next. So I'll be back now with the unboxing. Be back now. Okay guys, here we go with the model kit. This is the USS Enterprise Aircraft Carrier CVN 65-1-2-350 scale. It is a length of 1,005 millimeters, so it's just over a meter long. Yeah, this particular model was made by Tamir. And a pretty beautiful looking ship. Um, she has now officially gone into retirement, which is sad to hear that the vessel named Enterprise is now retired. But she was a beautiful, beautiful ship when she sailed the oceans. Now for the unboxing. As you can see, this is a pretty big box. There we can see some of the aircraft that's supposed to be included. The layout of the deck. the island over here the lifts to bring the aircraft up some beautiful box art uh, on the side here some extra sketches of the island of the ship certain parts of it a bit of the flight deck with some aircraft when you open the box the first things you come across is your different parts this box has been opened up so when you open yours 
it might not be in this exact configuration because I had already as you can see I've already opened it before and looked at the parts just to make sure everything's in good order you've got lots of parts on the different sprues your propellers shaft housing, lifeboats prop shaft housings hangar bay door parts quite a bit of different stuff on the different sprues some funnel parts cranes, wheels, vehicles all different types of stuff on these different sprues so that's so far three is the part of the island some other gadgets and radar stuff like that some lifeboat gadgets different types of antenna stuff all sorts of parts which need to go onto the ship little pieces and finally the aircraft all different types of airplanes now you get two instruction manuals one's in English and one is in I think it's Chinese showing you all the different stuff you have to put on where to put it out different configurations quite detailed on how to do the different things some that is some of your um, ah, I'll think of the word now now <laughs> decal sheets then the part of the flight deck as you can see this is quite a massive model this comes in three parts and the front pretty nicely done now these pieces here in front you can get aftermarket parts where you cut that off and then you glue the aftermarket parts on then we come to the main part open like that this is your basically your base two part base some more metal parts which you have to put into the ship like this one over here to make it stronger and then finally the front of the ship now this piece goes on to there like that and you've got a screw that goes through there and then of course you've got to putty that up and that's the full length of the ship 
which is quite a bit longer than the box itself so you can see why it doesn't fit so that's the Enterprise be back now okay guys so that's the unboxing of the Enterprise um, when I come back it will be the first part will be building the hangar bay inside the ship I've managed to find some pictures on the internet of how the shapes must be more or less so I'll be trying to do that we'll see how that comes out so until the next episode see you around guys and happy modeling cheers Thank you.